I recently got an email from someone considering to invest in Kajabi by using my link, and they wanted to see if they can create a form that wasn't just the name and email address that they'd be collecting by people. They wanted to see if you can make more robust forms to collect their address, company name and title, or the current situation they're in, or they wanted to have more of a fill in the blank section or check boxes or multiple choice, things like this, they, they wanted to add into their form to vet people more, but still keep it all inside of Kajabi's cohesive system. And I told them, of course you can, and it's by using custom fields. So I thought I would make a video just walking you through how to do this as well. If you're considering checking out Kajabi or if you're already in Kajabi and you've been wondering how to do this yourself. So to create custom field forms, we're gonna go to marketing and then go down to forms. And from here, you'll have a big list of the different forms that you have created. If you have none, it'll just say create new form. And then right here, it says new form. We'll click on that. And um, I will just call this uh, custom test form. A form is essentially any time that somebody opts in to join your email list. Um, we're gonna create more of a robust form and I'll show you some different ways that you can add this to like a landing page and make it look uh, really nice. Okay, so the first one is your choice in terms of the settings. Do you want it to be a double opt-in? It's what Kajabi recommends. If not, you can do a single opt-in. Uh, the difference is that it tells you right here, a double opt-in contacts must confirm their subscription via email after completing the form. This helps improve deliverability and lead quality. Uh, single opt-in, it's really up to you. Then they just have to fill out the reCAPTCHA uh, when they enter their email address, be like how many motorcycles or click all the motorcycle images or whatever it is. Okay, so you can decide what you wanna do there. In terms of the custom form fields, down here by default, you're going to have your name or the customer's name and then their email address. And you can get rid of the name, but you always have to have the email address. We wanna go down to add form fields. And right here, you're going to have address, address line two. Uh, these are some other custom fields that I had uh, created in playing with this. But naturally, it pretty much gives you like their city, their address. So if I wanted to add that, I would say, yes, I want their address. Okay, if we wanna have this be a very robust one, we'll have city, and then we can have country as well. Okay, so we already have a lot more of a robust form here, but we can go to add form field and then create a new field. Okay, so if we want, we can have different types here. So you can say their phone, be like, ooh, that'd be kind of interesting to have. We'll have phone and then we can call this phone. And you can decide if you want to make this field required or not. It's totally up to you. And right here, if we wanted to have name, email, phone, we can add phone right there. Add another form field, create a new field. Down here, we also have text area, which is more of like a fill in the blank text area. Select box, check box, uh, country as well. We already added that. Radio buttons too. So if we wanna, you know, test what this looks like, we can say, um, obviously not serious, but I'm just coming up with something. Okay, so they put in their basic information, then we have a text field right here. We'll add another form field, and let's do something different. Let's do radio buttons. Um, you can say, okay, so we'll provide a couple of different options. I know it can look a little weird because it's not actually saying anything. There's not really any kind of radio buttons, but you'll see what happens when we do a demo. Okay, and then add a new form field. Um, we'll say checkboxes. So the checkboxes, you actually wanna say what the checkbox is going to be in the title. Okay, and I'll show you what this looks like too. So that's a checkbox field. We'll have to create another um, checkbox field. Okay, and however many you'd wanna have for checkboxes. Okay, so <clears throat> just add a bunch of different ones just so you can see what this looks like. We'll hit save. Okay, so we did the checkbox. As you can see, the checkboxes down here aren't going to have um, any sort of title like this. So we can have a checkbox, but this has to be a single option. So what you can do is add <clears throat> a text block, or you can add something else that fills in one of these check block boxes of something like this, like click all that apply for you. Okay, but now right here, name, email, phone, address, city, country, it'll give you a whole drop down automatically. And then these are the the um, the text boxes where they can fill in more in depth and just have the question embedded inside of that. 
Okay, and then they can hit subscribe or join now, something like that. Obviously, this doesn't look very appealing, so we can actually change up this um, this whole entire form field. When you get your form fields inside, we can change out the whole entire page and make it look a lot more enticing if someone was gonna consider working with you and they had to fill out this information uh, or join your mastermind or qualify for a call or whatever it is that you wanna do with this form. So the way we do that is by going back We'll go to website, go down to pages. And then from here, we'll go to landing pages. And then landing pages, we'll just click on a new landing page. Okay, so there's a lot of different options that you can have here. We'll do this one, Charlie. So get started. All right, so on this page, we have a nice, beautiful uh, landing page that we can direct people to, to fill out this form. Now, what we can do is instead of text, you know, or whatever we want to do, we can add a new section and we could say uh, form and text. Go ahead and add that. And then we can click on the form, go to custom test form. And you can see the form right over here. I would want to get rid of this. <clears throat> Obviously we can change out the text, fill out form to apply. Okay. And we can change out all this stuff, but now they have this inside of here with our different options. And what we can do is if this were my page, I would click here and get rid of that. And we could change out the background of this too. You know, if we want to have it be something different, <laughs> we could have it be blue or this off white. Okay. We can, we can play around with that. What I would do is if people land on the page, I would click on this button. You could change up what you want this button to do by going to button action. I would say, go to section on this page and then we can choose one of the sections. So form and text, okay? We'll hit save, show you what this looks like. Go to preview. Now when people land on the page, they can scroll down. See, wow, very cool. All these animations are automatically added, which is really cool. And then they can scroll down to your form or if they land on it, they can say, let's go. And it pops right down to the form. And from here, they can fill out their different information as they see fit, okay? And you can add those different questions, um, whatever you want to add inside of here, okay? And then they can hit submit and now they are inside of your database or your system. Um, but where it gets really cool is that when people get inside the database, inside the system, We'll go back over to forms, custom test form. Now what's cool is that you can add automations. Okay, so when the form is submitted, automatically selects the custom test form. Then what do you want to have happen? Well, you can grant an offer to people. You can take away an offer. You can subscribe them to an email sequence. You can unsubscribe to an email sequence. Okay, if they filled this out, now you want them onto a different sequence and you can add multiple different automations. For example, if they're in a sequence, then they land on our little opt-in page, then you can unsubscribe them from that sequence if there's more emails coming at them and then have a new automation that simultaneously subscribes them to a new one. So it takes them off of one, automatically puts them onto a new email sequence. They can register for an event. What I like to do is add tags, depending on what it is. So you can add a tag select a current tag, or you can add a new tag, okay? So you can say, filled out a custom form or application page. And then that way, you know, everybody who's filled out an application, but maybe didn't show up to the call or something like that, you can have them tagged. So you can send out private emails specifically to them to uh, just be like, hey, what happened? I was really looking forward to meeting you, something like that. And you can email them based on the tag or tags that they have, okay? Which is pretty cool. So new subscriber completed, we can say that. You can add conditions too. So I only wanna do this if this person um, hasn't been delivered this email in the last X amount of time, if they have not submitted any of these forms, okay? If they don't own these products, then um, it's okay if they do this, okay? So it's like when, then, if. That's how you have to think about automations. I have different videos about that, all right? 
Uh, but the, those, the, the tagging of people is very, very important. Uh, especially when you start to get more sophisticated, more robust inside of Kajabi with your business, because then you can refer people to different things and talk about where they're at on their journey. And it becomes more of a um, cohesive system and uh, a better CRM system for you. Okay. So that's really how you do custom forms. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you want to try out Kajabi yourself and you've been kind of on the fence or maybe you're just finding out about it, uh, you can learn everything you want about getting a 30 day free trial uh, with a link down in the description. It's profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. On top of a 30 day trial, you're also going to get a course I made called Kajabi Kickstart that walks you through how to build out a whole marketing sales funnel inside of Kajabi. So all you have to do is just focus on, you know, plugging your stuff in and then driving traffic to it. Okay, but I give you a bunch of different templates and sequences and all this cool stuff inside of there. Uh, it's my gift to you just for signing up with my link. And on top of that, inside of Kajabi Kickstart, you get to book a one-to-one -one coaching call with me where I will sit down, answer questions uh, that you have about Kajabi, much like I did for this person today. Uh, maybe I'll make a video if it feels like it would actually be helpful for other people as well. Uh, but that's where this whole video kind of came into uh, fruition and came into an idea was from a one-on-one -on -one call from someone who signed up for Kajabi through my link. So all that's available down in the description below or profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. My gift to you as a big welcome to the Kajabi family and hopefully you can get as much out of Kajabi as I have. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, take what you learned here, get out there, make something happen and I will see you in the next one.